community. George Allen here. Vinyl LPs and CDs. Well, I got some VCLT. How about that? And it was unexpected. Well, I kind of knew about it, but I was surprised when it came. So, it didn't come in a box, it came in a mailer. Because it came from overseas, from Manchester, England. And it came from a fella that uh, I've been watching his videos on YouTube. Uh, him and his uh, band and uh, liked it a like his stuff a lot and uh, he generously sent me one of his CDs and that's Richard Isles and it's his CD from here to there and uh, over the course of uh, some time now uh, we've been going back and forth talking about jazz and um, we have some similar tastes in our conversations. Richard's a trumpet player like me he has a love for Clifford Brown, Miles Davis, and Freddie Hubbard. And uh, Richard uh, works in uh, s several different types of uh, forms with uh, either uh, quartets, quintets, and uh, either larger, almost kind of like uh, smaller big bands. Plays the trumpet and sometimes even a flugelhorn like uh, Miles Davis or Chet Baker have. And uh, I'll have to tell you, it's a wonderful CD. Uh, some of the songs uh, are very uh, modern jazz. Uh, there's some songs on here that I've told them reminds me of uh, uh, Miles experimental stage. Not way out there but uh, similar to either uh, kind of like um, maybe the Robert Johnson air type or even even some uh, more controlled weather report style music and I enjoyed him uh, sending me the CD very much and I want to thank Robert. Uh, I've gotten uh, quite a bit of enjoyment uh, listening to this. Uh, I've listened to it uh, three or four times already. Great bunch of musicians and uh, as I mentioned on this, the uh, ten songs on here, they go from uh, quartets and, and uh, larger combos and even some small orchestra songs. So if you have a chance, I'm going to put a link below my video uh, to Richard Isle's uh, YouTube uh, channel and even on his channel I think he even has uh, his website. You check him out even further. Uh, Richard Isle's and that's from here to there is the CD. Now also I wanted to made it to a uh, little uh, record media store uh, in town here. I was picking through some bins and I uh, happened to find uh, a couple uh, records worth picking up. One right behind me. Look at this. Barry Manilow. 99 cents. Makes a great prop. Don't know if I'll play it. But I did find some stuff that's worth playing. Box of Frogs. By the Frogs. I think, I believe this is their second album. I have their first album. This is, I believe, is their uh, second album. These were guys that uh, a couple of them used to be in the Yardbirds. Got it for a buck ninety-nine. It's in pretty good shape. See, it's on the Epic label. Got to clean them up. Put them in some better covers. Next one, 99 cents. This is a Herb Alpert. I don't have Fandango. 
and uh, this one also in um, pretty fair condition. Of course, it's uh, on A&M. That's his label, you know. Got to clean that baby up. And this one, I was really glad to find for buck ninety-nine. Nashville Super Pickers. Live from Austin City Limits. And whoever had this record before evidently was a musician because all the song listings there have what key they're in. How about that? And what really attracted it, me to it was it's uh, Charlie McCoy's on it. So although I'm basically a drummer, I mess around with the harmonica a little bit. So I, I saw that Charlie McCoy was on this, so I thought I got to get this for buck ninety nine. And uh, I looked at it, and it looked like to me that this thing had hardly ever been played. It's on the Flying Fish label. How about that? I could tell this thing looks like it's hardly ever been played. So that's my video for today. Um, working on a couple other things, but I wanted to show you the uh, the VCLT I got and my finds at the uh, record shop. I love digging through their bins because sometimes you find some great stuff cheap, especially Barry Manilow, man. What a deal. See y'all later. Bye-bye.